Hello everyone, welcome back to our next episode of Starship Creator. In honor of Thomas's victory in tonight's Jeopardy, we'll be building an Akira class starship. So let's go ahead and select that. Unlike some of the other classes here, the Akira comes with some systems already installed, but we'll of course go in and add some extras. Let's go ahead and start with our registry number. Six one nine eight five that'll work so let's get started commencing assembly for new starfleet vessel all right take a quick look at the nacelles let's see what number three looks like that's a little bit long uh these perhaps those are pretty long as well, but not as bulky, so maybe that's a little bit better. Let me check from the side. Hmm, old school. I can go with that. The hull. Hmm, that's interesting. That's maybe a little bit too long. Maybe I'll stick with the traditional hull. And there's some of the saucer designs we have. Hmm, have an oval. That's kind of odd. Let's see what this one looks like. On the side? Yeah, let's go with that. Processing. Quick look at our blueprint, then we'll build our ship. Assembly structure. Look at that from a couple different angles. Our Akira class, then we'll move on to naming. Processing. This will of course be the USS Potts. Adding to our fleet. Let's see what that looks like. Very good. That can join our fleet with the uh, Franklin and the Ignored by Matthew and the USS Sequest. Let's go ahead and take a look at our systems. Processing. Propulsion. Let's go with a. Uh, Class A8 impulse engine. This will go with a Type 13 warp 13 warp drive. See, there's some systems already installed. I guess we'll get to those in a minute. That's for power. Class 11 reactor. Only the finest warp core. Antimatter storage pod. We'll put in a few of those. Okay. Fusion reactor. Let's go with seven gigawatts. Deuterium storage tag. Then we go with a bigger one. Power distribution. Let's go with the full rating on the power flow. All of them there. One more. Auxiliary power. Okay. Moving on to weapons. Phaser arrays. How many phaser arrays can we have? Six? Why not? We'll be fully prepared. And torpedoes. Oh, we got a bunch of choices here. And a couple of launchers. And some photon torpedoes. Okay. And we also got some quantum torpedoes. And some of those. One of these, oh, we even got Trary Cobalt. Ooh, I thought that was only on Intrepid. Well, our Akira is ready for battle, that's for sure. Yeah, okay, that covers our weapons. Let's go to Defense, Navigational Deflector. Our shields, can't go without that. Okay, covers our defenses. Science. See the kind of sensors we got. Pilot one, pilot two, pilot three, and we have four, five, and six. I think that might actually be the full range of sensors. Let's check our probes. We've got nine of those. I think that's also the full range. 
We'll check our labs in a minute. It looks like the, so far the Kira might be an excellent balance of both tactical and scientific capabilities. It would be very useful when going on missions. Seven, eight, and nine. So what labs we got. Five labs. Ooh, we're, we're all set. Cultural Anthropology. Cybernetics. Exobiology. Planetary Science. And Stellar Cartography. Very nice. Command Control. Mark 70 or no, Mark 10. I don't remember what the difference is between these two. Let's take a quick look. Looks like the Mark 70 is a little bit more advanced. Put in a couple of those. Okay. Get this out of the way. ODN network. That's redundant, but yes. Alright, internal comm system. RF transceivers. Subspace radio and our universal translator. Don't leave space dock without it. Primary shuttle bay. Yep. Shuttle craft. Type 15. Type 16. Type 15A. It says cargo shuttle type 9, but it looks like one of those ones from Voyager. I guess that was a type 9, but I didn't know it was a cargo shuttle. And then we got a Sphinx work pod. A standard type 6 from TNG. Very good. We got our cargo transporter. Personnel transporter. And a backup. And a couple of emitters. And a couple of targeting scanners. Okay. Cargo bays. Primary and auxiliary. Very good. And of course the tractor beams. Okay. We're almost through with our systems. Supports. Class M. It's standard on our starships. We also got this extra one here. Alien Supplemental. Life support system to generate class H, K, and L environmental conditions required by non-humanites. Oh. Very, um, diverse there. Living quarters. Luxurious. Only the best for the USS Potts. 150. Seems like not very much for a ship that size, but we'll see what we can do. Medical systems. Advanced plus alien. Ooh. Oops. Yeah. Facilities. Oh, Arboretum. Gonna walk among the plants. Crew lounge. Definitely. We need to stand forward. Holodex. And a couple of those. Don't want to get bored. And what's our last one here? Ooh, a salon. Don't want to miss out on our haircuts with Mr. Mott. Utilities. We're going to go with the package A. Turbo lift system. Okay, get a complex one there. And the support that brings us to structure. And we're going to put in our structural integrity fields. Full strength. Yay, it looks like our Akira class is now fully equipped. Let's take a quick look at the interior. Look at all the different systems we have installed on our starship. And there we go. I think that's going to about wrap it up for today. But please join us next time as we pick the crew for the intrepid USS POTS. Until then, I hope you have a blessed day.